They play with passion. Dozens of soccer lovers aged six to their mid-twenties, all different abilities, play on the top soccer team. Top stands for the Outreach Program, and the team is part of the Edge Soccer Organization. Meet twins Evan and Justin Malark. I like playing soccer because I love kicking the ball and, and, um, and being the goalie because I, I scored three times. My mom was so proud of me. No doubt, pride in developing their sporting skills keeps a lot of players in the game. I'm a best player. Um, I run fast. And then there is the power of making new friends. I like all my friends, especially the ladies. You're a funny guy, Chris. I know. <laughs> For some of these kids, it's like their social time to be with their, their buddies and their friends. And a chance to feel included. I like to play soccer because it's fun and it's actually a sport I can play without feeling left. Regardless of the disability, the message here is to have fun. We have a large population of developmentally disabled kids. We have a few kids who are strictly physical, physically disabled, and we have some autistic kids. Bobby Jo Beebles, a former physical education teacher, first got involved with the team when her daughter volunteered to help as a peer coach nearly a decade back. For the past seven years, Bobby Jo's been coaching the team along with Jill Polito. Well, about nine years ago, uh, my son started playing in the program, and there was a different coach at the time. And then two years into the program, um, he decided he needed to retire. He'd been doing it for a long time. So I approached um, Bobby Joe and said, we can do this together. And it's great. We just love it. For eight weeks, each fall and spring, top soccer players get the team spirit to go up against other edge soccer teams. Um, usually we play a um, typical team, but today we're playing a, another special needs team. It's our end of the season tournament, and we're playing the Rush Thunder special needs team. Players are organized into several groups based on abilities and size. The goal? To make sure everyone is involved and builds on skills they need. Jill often works with younger kids and those still working on basic skills and says the program couldn't function without the help of peer coaches. We usually get assigned with one kid and we just really just play with them just like any other, like a coach I guess, like really anyone. And we pass or shoot and just help them get to know the game better. 14-year-old Arvada West student and soccer player Jenny Grubbs has been a peer coach for three years already. We love having more people come, so the more the merrier. For parents, it's a chance to meet, swap stories, cheer their kids, and celebrate their successes. I have three girls, and my twins are 11, and Morgan is one of the twins. She's 11, and she is autistic, and her other twin helps out at special needs, and my nine-year-old also helps out at special needs. So all three girls are involved. <laughs> the skills and confidence Morgan picks up here carry into the rest of her life. She's really feeling pride and um, and it's transferring over to her school setting too because she plays soccer at lunch and things like that so I'm just really proud of her. While the top soccer team keeps Jill and Bobby Joe busy, they encourage more parents to get their kids involved saying the rewards are worth the effort. I just am so thankful that there's so, that there are people like Bobby Joe and Jill and parents and, and the buddies that come out every week and our kids to make this possible. If you would like more information about the Top Soccer Program, contact the Edge Soccer Club at 303-403-0902 or check out their website at edgesoccer.net.